Hey guys, what's up? This is Dark Alpha, and welcome back to another great video here from all of us at MUTEvolution.com. I got a lot of requests for an EVO draft tool video, so I'm going to do one for you guys. What it is, is first you take a base team of players 69 overall or under. You can't use Dick Van Dyke or Kaepernick. You can only use three rookies per team, and you have to use bronzes. You can't use Playoff Julio or anything like that. You then both open one pack each. You alternate picking cards. Then you, you know, set your teams up, and then you play each other. You play for stakes. You can play for whatever you want, but the whole point is to have fun. Here, so we're going to open up the off-season pack, which is what we agreed to open. You can also open legendary packs, and I'm live-streaming this, so that way my opponent and I can both see what cards are being drawn. There's no confusing. I'm going to skip a lot of the unnecessary parts. My opponent gets to pick first, because he's first alphabetically. I had a pretty bad pack, a lot of kickers, a lot of punters. He's going to go with Fantasy High Towers as linebacker, instead of center Chris Myers. Uh, it just depends on how you play. I'm going to take the offensive line, because I'm a big runner. I guess he wants to play coverage. And then here, you know, there's really not many options left. There's a lot of punters, a lot of kickers. He's going to go with another speedy rookie wide receiver, T.Y. Hilton. And from here, I really don't know what I'm going to pick because everybody else sucks. So I'm going to go with another offensive lineman, you know, solidify up the offensive line so I can run it a little more. After that, the next packs suck. There really aren't anything else. We both agree to just keep going. And here we go. This first pack, I pulled a 93 center Kolo. I also pulled Greg Olson. I use my tight end heavily. I'm big on running the ball up the middle. I'm big on running it outside. And I'm also big on dumping it to the tight end when they overcommit. So I really could, got lucky with this tight end pull. Greg Olson is one of the best in the game. He's fast. He can block decently. You know, you know, I got really lucky to pull him. My opponent gets to go next. He knows I'm going to stock up offensive linemen, so he's going to pick uh, Pecco, the Bengals defensive guy. He's pretty good. I'm going to go with, I think it's now between Wayne and Khalil. I really don't throw my wide receivers that often, and Wayne's really slow, so even if he did get the ball, he wouldn't really do much about it. I debate it, and I toss it up. I'm going to go with make my offensive line really beastly, and I, which you know, you'll see in this video. I'm glad I did. So I go with Khalil. He picks Wayne. I then take the last offensive lineman, and from now we're ready to play. Once we trade him to cards, and then we set our death charts up, and then we're going to play. We're not playing for anything, but I've known a lot of people will pay for the other person's pack or whatever stakes you want. And here we go. He's going to start off, and the read option, I stuff him on the first play. And then you'll see here, he's going to get this, and then he really takes a big risk. He throws it to Robinson, who was caught in the traffic in the middle. He, you know, he stayed off his guy. I hate when they run into each other, and there's really nothing you can do there. I'm not worried about it, because that happens. Now he's going to do a play action. I almost get there in time. Don't quite get the pick just yet. But, you know, he's using prior to, so I'm just waiting for him to make a poor mistake. Here he gets out in the open field. Oh, and I cause a fumble. <laughs> this guy picks it up and then runs anyway. I'm telling you, I can't make this up. Even to make a good play, I still get screwed. Here on third and seven, you know, I make a good play. I get a sack, my ball now. And then here, look at this. Greg Olson, the guy I picked. I could have gone with somebody else. I'm glad I went with Olson. He's big for me. I've established that. I can do that now. And then right here, Lamar Miller. It's I'm, This is O.J. Simpson Jr. I like to call him. This guy is a beast. I love using him. He can go outside. He can catch balls. He can go up the middle like this. Look at this. He's going to race to the outside. I could use Taiwan Jones, the bronze running back from the Raiders. He's faster than Lamar Miller, but he doesn't have the carry. And I like to use Lamar as a workhorse, as you're seeing here. I'm running up the gut. I'm running up the gut. I'm running around the side. I'm doing dump offs. I'm not really using it too much. Here on fourth down, I've established the run so well that a quick little out route gets the job done for me. And then here, Lamar Miller is going to keep going. I'm going to run outside. And then when you bust up like that, the middle starts to open up. And now it's third and four. And since I've just ran up the middle, I've dumped it off the outside. Now here it's fourth on inches again, and I'm just going to bounce to the outside with Lamar Miller, who gets it done, O.J. Simpson Jr., and then I try to get cute. I try to force it in the window. Pryor doesn't have the throw power. and I should have just kept running, but I felt a little bad. And then here, oh, man, I don't know what happens. Oh, I get beat. If you watched, I got a little, my guy did a little moonwalk instead of going up for it. I'm mad, but then Josh Robinson makes up for getting burned. My team makes up for it, and here I maneuver around, and then my slip of the tackle means I get the time it right. That's a pretty sweet move. I feel a little better now. Let's take a closer look. It looks like he has the lead on the ball, but Josh Robinson is one of my rookies. He's very fast. He undercuts it, and then I have the ball, and now here I have to maneuver between a few guys, so... I have to move around his user, so I try to time it. I high step out of that tackle just perfectly timed to get away from the offensive lineman to get me some six points. And then here, Terrell Pryor on the read. I'm not able to stop it. I'm always protecting the running back because I know if the quarterback runs, it, he'll fumble. I already forced the fumble, but I didn't get the fumble there, and he got open. Here, he does a little dump off. I feel a little stupid that I let that happen. He's doing a little couple man-meter moves, you know, so I'm calling a little more zone here. I don't know what happened to why my guy wasn't there. That's the worst 
you know, worst zone I've ever seen possible, but completely empty. And then here, Taiwan Jones performs his strength and just pretty much outruns my team. I'm used to them sitting on the edge, couldn't quite get it done. Taiwan Jones took advantage of it. Luckily, Lamar Miller, he's not as fast. I can't beat him to the edge there, but he gets the job done. All these plays, look at this. He's going to be wide open, and my Terrell Pryor just cannot get the ball there. Oh, man, Pryor. And then here, you know, look at this. I'm able to commit inside, and I'm able to keep using Miller because he has good carry. This O.J. Simpson Jr. is what a stud. Look, at he's catching balls out of, the, out of the backfield. You know, I was scared when he took the hit there. You know, I tried to I tried to brace, didn't get off in time. Doesn't matter. He held on to the ball anyway. And then here, look at that. He does a little flip, and he still holds on to the ball. I am just feeding Lamar Miller. You know, I'm cramming it down this uh, down this guy's throat. Lamar Miller is such a stud here. He does little moves on third down. I didn't feel comfortable throwing it because I didn't think Pryor could fit through windows. He hasn't been able to do it all game, so I'm patient. I take off, and Lamar Miller, you know, I gave him a little break earlier. with, And then look at it. He powers through the middle, maneuvers his way in, and then he tries to go up at halftime. Not this time. This time I'm not doing moonwalking. My guy doesn't let the guy go past him. And then I take the ball in the half, up by seven, and I get the ball. All right, and now it's halftime. I'm going to keep feeding Lamar Miller. You just have to imagine if you just, uh, I mean, what is this? This There's little tiny running back getting the ball so much. And there, that's a big play right there, maneuver through guys. But this little tiny guy just getting the ball. He's not fumbling because it's surprisingly he's re he does really well. Ooh, ooh, sweet move by me right there. But he doesn't fumble. And I like to use draft tools because here, like, little, oh, Terrell Pryor whips the throw there. What a, oh, what a scrub. Lamar Miller, I, you know, I've mentioned this guy. A lot of people use Taiwan Jones, and that's very fine. If you have him and another back that you can swap out, ooh, nice play by me, then you can use him, really, but if you use him too often, he will fumble because he has, you know, it's, it's like he plays with his hands cut and covered in butter. Little fullback dump off. I was surprised that worked right there. And here, I'm almost there to get the pick. I'm not quite there. I thought I could get it. And Taiwan Jones, look at that, breaks the tackle. My guy runs around him. Oh, what well, irritating. Taiwan Jones, what are you doing, man? Come on. And here he throws in, like, I don't know, triple coverage. Getting a little irritated. I feel like I should be getting, my guy should be making more plays, like, there. And then, you'll watch right here. Look at it. It's fourth down. I'm there. <laughs> my guy just throws, I don't know. I have to see this again. So, look at this. I'm there. I press tackle. And my guy, instead of tackling forward, pivots and then does a little YMCA move. And he gets the first down. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? I just, oh, I can't stand it. Here, he gets out. And then I thought I had him on the tackle there. I didn't quite get it. Now it's pretty much inevitable because, you know, my guys just can't get the ball. But anyway, I'm up by a touchdown here. I need one more. I'm not going to run it. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to, you know, push on the throat, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give him the ball back. I'm going to keep being aggressive. And then Lamar Miller. I've said it once. You know, look at this. This is, you know, that's Taiwan Jones giving Lamar a little breather to take over the game right there. I like Evo Draft Duels because it's more fun. The players you have get to do a lot more when you have a fast player. He's actually fast. I was playing a game last night where my 100-speed Falk was run down by, you know, Reggie White. It's not very much. Oh, look at Lamar Miller right there. And now the game's pretty much over. He goes up top for Hail Mary. I pick it off, and that's pretty much the game. All right, guys. From all of us at MUTEvolution.com, I hope you enjoyed watching these Evo Draft Duels. We have these going on all the time on NUTEvolution.com. They're a lot of fun. You know, you get to play with cards that you draft. You get that, you know, these, the bronze cards are more fun because everything's a little more balanced, I feel. You can't do a lot of the cheese that it's not in a lot of more major games. If you haven't joined us on MUTEvolution.com yet, you know, we'd love to have you. we got a lot of things going on for all of Madden Ultimate Team. Even now in March, we got things going on every day. And we're just, you know, I, I personally love it here, and I enjoy making videos and promoting it because I just love using this. All right, guys, from all of us at MUTEvolution.com, I'm out.